what's going on youtube and welcome back to the channel i'm back in the game with another video so let's go ahead and rock this joint so today i want to talk to you about this beyonce situation now call me petty but i just gotta point it out right now beyonce dropped a song called black parade now the song is highlighting the things that we're going through as a country right now dealing with the race relations systemic oppression and so forth and so on so i'm not necessarily a fan of beyonce's music but i have to say that i rock with the song because of what it stands for now beyonce dropped the song unannounced right in true Beyonce's fashion because she likes to surprise her fans and supposedly all the proceeds from the song will be donated to small black businesses listen I'm not saying that Beyonce is not going to give a good portion of her money to support black businesses but don't tell me that Beyonce is not going to take a cut off a song that she actually created all these celebrities out here that lend their likeness and their name to certain fundraisers and they claim that all the proceeds are going to that particular organization. I just never believed that. I believe that they're entitled or they feel entitled because you're using their name and their likeness and they're going to get a little cut of it. That's just my opinion. But anyway, I want to play you the first couple of lines from the song Black Parade. So here it is. I'm going back to the south. I'm going back, 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 back where my roots ain't watered down. All right, so you guys just heard that little sample. Can't play it all. Don't want to get a strike. But anyway, she starts off the song saying that she's going back, back, back to the south where her roots ain't watered down. And Lord and behold, Look! Beyonce and Jay Z done took a flight to the Hamptons, which is north, not south right after she dropped this song called Black Parade. And I just find it funny that you would drop a song that was meant for your people, a powerful song, right? And then you flee to the North to hang out and be around people that don't necessarily look like you. Let's keep it all the way real. Now, I don't expect Beyonce to go to the South like she said in the song immediately, but the timing is just off in my opinion. So let me get this straight. So you just made a song just for the movement that's going on right now, which leads me to believe that you're trying to profit off of this movement the same way that Jay-Z has profited off of Colin Kaepernick by making a deal with the NFL when they would even give Colin a job. And then on top of that, you try to tell us as a community that we were done with kneeling like you have some type of authority over us. Like, who are you? And then on top of that, you have Jay-Z that's in charge of the entertainment aspect for the NFL. And then what does he do for the Super Bowl? He has J-Lo and Shakira headlining this past Super Bowl's halftime performance. So not only did Jay-Z attempt to speak for all of us and say that we were past kneeling, he also must have felt that J-Lo and Shakira were more marketable, right, than anybody within our community because apparently he couldn't find any talent to headline the halftime show. Then on top of that, as Beyonce and Jay-Z arrive to the Hamptons, they have their beautiful kids with them, okay? All right. Now, the one thing that I did notice is that the both of them have masks on. Shouldn't the kids have masks on too? I'm just checking, just asking for some clarity on this one, you know, because if you have on mask, your children should have on mask. So Beyonce does a song for the people, for the community, says that she's going back down south to find her roots, but jumped on a jet and went the opposite direction and flew to the north to hang out in the Hamptons, right? with neighbors like Paris Hilton and Sarah Jessica Parker. I guess those the roots that you were really talking about and you just made a song for the people to have something to listen to to empower them, but you still gonna keep it over there. You see what I'm saying? That's just how I feel about the situation. A lot of people are gonna say that this is petty. You know, she can go anywhere that she wants to. Her and Jay-Z, that's their jet, that's their money, that's their life. But at the same time, I find it hypocritical that you can make this type of song and then be seen vacationing in the Hamptons. And you know, Beyonce just wrote a letter to the Kentucky Attorney General in regards to Breonna Taylor. And so it would have been nice to see Beyonce actually take a flight to Kentucky to confront that situation head on than to be seen vacationing in the Hamptons to be beside Catherine Zeta-Jones. That's just my opinion. But anyway, y'all keep putting y'all faith in 
all of your trust in these celebrities the only reason some of them speak out is because they don't want to catch any heat on social media or be dragged through social media if they don't say anything i don't trust jay-z and i sure as hell don't trust beyonce it is what it is but anyway i'm gonna let this go and let y'all have that in the comments drop down and let a brother know what you think about the commentary within this video also let me know what you think about the song do you think that Beyonce was trying to capitalize off the movement? Let a brother know down below. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe, and I'll get with you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Peace.